my baby. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like and of course the sub subscribe button right now. Well, Bivor versus Bitter Beef. Um he just concluded fight between both guys, both warriors. First of all, kudos to both of these guys from Russia. I think Bitter BF is from Chechnya uh the mount a mountainous region in russia that is very very hard like this if you grew up there like a lot of the people that grew up there like wrestle with the, with bears you know bivo himself being from russia you know you know like russians tend to have this hardcore um mindset and very dedicated mindset as well this fight i have to say this is actually the best boxing fight um easier like let, let's keep it right here like in terms of the elitism before before's jab is just it, it's just something I, I don't know how to explain it his jab is I, I i wish i wish joshua can have that kind of jab bro do you bro his jab is just something else bro he's too elite too elite better be here on the other hand didn't show me anything i didn't know about him before Better behave is a guy that works you down. Um, so, in my opinion, yes, I, I know if I say it's a robbery, people will say, well, it was a close fight. Yes, I know. But one man was actually blocking almost all the punches of other men. Yes, the other man threw more punches, but before blocked way more punches from Better BF, and also he landed way more as well. He landed more so i don't get where this 116 112 scorecard came from and who's judge the uh, the uh score that what was he watching like is it was it just this is why i think boxers should be judges retired boxers should be, be becoming judges because all these judges we have these guys are don't know don't know stuff about a lot of them don't know stuff about boxing they've never been in the ring they don't know the art of boxing some some pretend to do boxing is about eat and don't get hit in my opinion in my opinion the copy copy boss you see you you look at it yes better bf threw more punches but before landed more i'm just kind of wondering now i understand the reason why a lot of american fighters never leave the shores of america because of fear other than the greats you know but but they left because they were bigger than busy their name were bigger than boxing you know the alis the moment the mike tyson's you know but the guys like floyd mayweather um for example i don't think floyd mayweather like it. i think Floyd Mayweather would have gotten robbed i didn't be any fought in maybe in another country maybe maybe fought let's say in saudi arabia or somewhere else like that because how do where do you get these judges from that don't even know what the sport of boxing is all about i don't know man it is disappointing this is this is listen the fight is it was good for boxing but the result is not so good for boxing but we have a brother here to to break it down for us to give you steak ibrahim um what's your take on that uh how did you score the fight what do you make of the fight and yeah what do you what's your what's your what's your take on bivo as a fighter and better be as a fighter bro listen first of all this is why we need the best fight in the best bro what a fight like we can start with that what a fight back and forth swings and like this is why we need the best fight in the best bro you know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck are these guys only just fought now? If boxing was fair, but this time, these guys would have probably fought like two or three times. So, first of all, I, I would like to see a rematch. Um, second of all, I think you're being a bit too harsh. I think you're being a bit too harsh. No, like, no, I'm, I think, I'm um, not being a bit too harsh because you know, even, be, even, be, bet, even be, better, be, even be, better, even better be, BF's told him, better BF, you need a knockout. But I think it was in round 11. He, they told him, you, you need yeah, a knockout. But, that, but, that's, 
No, but that's because Bivol. No, that's because um Bivol. Because they know he was losing, out. bro. They know he was losing, like, bro. And listen, no, no, I'm, no, not, Bivol, I'm not. No, no, Bivol won. Bivol won round ten, right? Bivol won round ten. So they sent him. Nah, bro. Listen, you need to go out there and stick it on him. You can see the way Betedev came out in round eleven. Do you know what I'm saying? Like aggressive, and then December of round twelve, bro. The truth is, the truth is, it was a close fight. One sixteen, one twelve is fucking disgusting. Like, I don't know. To anyone, Bivol cannot get 116, 112 in that fight. Like, I don't, they, they, there's no way Bivol gets 116, 112. There's no way Betabiev gets 116, 112. So I think, yeah, that card, that, that, that one there was just wild. But if that fight was a draw, I'll take it. If that fight was won by um, Betabiev, I'll take it. If that fight was won by Bivol, I'll take it. So to call it a robbery, I think it's a stretch. But we also have to look at Bivol. We have to look at Bivol. Two things. You can look at it from two ways. You can say, bro, you took this man 12 rounds that no one has ever taken 12 rounds before. Do you know what I'm saying? You took shots from this man that has knocked out people. Just say, those body shots were just, they were horrible. Those body shots were horrible. He took it, he went all the way around. Now, the jab that you're talking about, oh, beautiful. First three rounds, four rounds, beautiful jab. Doubling it up, tripling it up, coming with the right hand over the top. It was looking like, oh, this is just going to be a wash. Like, Betabia can't get through this reach, right? This is going to be a wash. But the reality is, bro, pretty much from the halfway point, he stopped throwing that jab. Do you know what I'm saying? So we can't, we can't just look at some of the pretty work we saw at the start of the fight. It's a 12-round fight. It's not a five-round fight. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a 12-round fight. And the reality was, he stopped throwing those jabs. Maybe it's because he got gassed which surprised me because I've seen, I mean, Bivol's not the hardest of punches, so he always goes 12 rounds. Not always, but you know what I mean. He goes 12 rounds a lot. He's done many 12 rounds. Now, granted, granted, the, the amount of movement he had to do, because obviously we know what better they have is coming with that power. So you have to move, you have to avoid it. So maybe it was the movement that got him tired, but it's like he just slowed down. Boom, he didn't just slow down. It's like he just dropped off a cliff. I'm like, Bivol, where's the jabs? Where's the movement? When have you ever seen Bivol up against the rope taking punches before? Now, a lot of those punches were hitting the guard. Don't get me wrong. A lot of them were hitting the guard. But the point is, when have you ever seen Bivol in those vulnerable positions? Use your feet, move out the way, and then get back to your jab. Get back to your jab. But he wasn't on his jab for half that fight. Do you know what I'm saying? And for, you know, a third of that fight, he was up against the ropes. So, for me, I think the reason why I would say, okay, draw or I would even be happy with a Bivol win, is because really, for me, those first three rounds was a wash. Like, I just gave those first three rounds to Bivol. Do you see what I'm saying? At least three of the first four rounds. So for me, I'm like, okay, cool. He could have won. You could have given him another one or two, or maybe three, do you know what I'm saying, in the second half. So, like, if he had won it, I would have been cool with it. But I can't say it's a robbery, bro. It was just a great fight. It was bro, ebbing and flowing. Do you, know what the, do, you, do, you, do you know what I just found out right now? I don't know if you know who this guy is, Ramza Kadyrov. You know the guy? No, I don't know. Bro, you don't know he's a leader of Chechnya in Russia. The guy that Putin called upon to help fight the Ukrainian war, you know? Okay. You know Chechnya in Russia, right? Bro, Chech yeah, I know Russia, Chechnya, yeah. The leader of Chechnya, you know, Russia is a federation, so every region has to have leaders, right? Or Putin be the president of all the leader of that place is notoriously like is known to be a badass. If like, bro, there are, are you are, man? Are you man, bro? Bro, you bro, man, bro. bro. Past Twenty minutes here. The conspiracy theories, bro. That fight was close, bro. It was a good fight. We're really gonna start digging into conspiracy theories as to how Bivol got. Bro, bro, decision. bro. I'm just a little bit better. Bf had a uh, Bivol had no chance if that guy. As, as bro, soon, okay, listen, cool. when you, as okay, soon let as, me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, bro. Were yeah. you watching this fight on the zone? Were you watching the fight on the zone? Yeah, I was watching fight on the zone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Now tell me mm -hmm. that the editing, yeah, was not completely biased towards Bivo in terms of like um during the breaks. Bro, all bro, the highlights were Bivo. Bro, all the highlights I wasn't, were Bivo. I wasn't all watching. I wasn't watching it. I wasn't watching okay, it. Okay, on, okay, with, uh, I, was, I, was, I wasn't watching it on with sound on, on with sound on. I I'm not mute talking the sound. about sound. No, I'm not talking about sound or, or, or commentary. I said the highlights. 
you would you would think that Beaver was fighting himself, as in the other person was not throwing punches. All of the highlights, go and watch it back. Now that I've said they go and watch it back, they were only showing Bivo throughout the whole fight as if Betelde was not there. So, you know, the whole thing about, you know, for me, I was actually convinced that if we go to the cards, Bivo's going to win this, right? Because the way I'm seeing them, the way they're doing these highlights, Bivo's actually, that's actually what I was thinking because I wanted Bivo to win. So I was kind of happy, like, listen, just go to the scorecard, Bivo's got this. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was my mindset, right? We can't really be upset with this decision, bro. Like, I think either person that wants that, like robbery is like, come on, this is not a robbery fight, bro. The card is stupid. 116, 112 is ridiculous. It's, it's just like, who, who is this person? Bro, like, this outrageous. is where you know before had no chance. How did one, if you tell the judge right now to just sit, just sit the judge down and explain how he got to that 116, 112, he will yeah, not be able strong. to do that. Okay, bro. It'll struggle. That one's mad. That one's so, mad. so, so, when it you have to. judges like this, how do you expect it to be like? And like this, that fight should have been a split draw or a split decision win uh, for 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 Bivo or maybe even if Atobi Tabi ever won it by split decision, I will understand it. You know, but one sixty one twelve, it doesn't make sense. It was, it was, it was a split decision. It wasn't unanimous, was it? No, it was unanimous, bro. It wasn't unanimous. There was one forty. I, I think it was. Bro. It was a majority decision. One was a it was draw. One, what, it was majority. It was majority. Yeah. yeah. So one fourteen, one forty. It yeah. was majority. One fourteen, one forty. One was a draw. The, the other two went to, went to a. Uh, um, yeah, but that's not that's not wild. That's not wild. Like I said, the, the, the bro, one sixty, one twelve. Come on, bro. That's, Don't nah, one sixty, one twelve is wild. There is no is excuse. There is no excuse. This was my opinion. A robbery in the sense that I'm not saying a robbery in terms of like uh, Betabia didn't do enough. A robbery because the the judges, especially that one that gave them that scored it 161 12, already had his mind made up even before the fight. So it means to me he was just looking at aggression. Who is moving, who is more aggressive? That's what he looked at, and that is not how to score a fight. If you if you if you look at aggression, then you should just go do something else with your life. You yeah, know, you're, you, not, you, you're not qualified to be here. But you know, different judges look at fights differently. You know, you could have had it. But, but the problem is... Even Bro, if you had this is why there, I would prefer to have uh, as, uh, like retired box, boxers. Because no, at but least wait, but even, they but know... Even, they, even, even if you had a judge in there who preferred clean boxing, the truth is, Bivo wasn't really crazy active from the halfway point onward. Don't get me wrong, his work was to wasn't doing that much work. We just have to be honest. Bro, I think you're... You know, we spoke like... Beaver was my guy in this fight. I don't know if he was. Beaver was my guy. But he wasn't... He wasn't that active. Do you know what I'm saying? So even if you just forget about aggression, even if you just say that who was the most active, if we just... If you're just scoring around and one person is not really throwing that much and the other person is the one who's a bit more like active, not even aggressive, just active just throwing punches, like, you would probably just have to give it to that person. Give us the experience of the world champion, he should know what the optics look like. What happened in round 11 or round 12? Where was Bivo? In round 11 or round 12, bro, where was Bivo? You know this is undisputed. You know this has been a close fight. This is the championship rounds, final two rounds. What was he doing, bro? You see what I'm saying? He lost those last two rounds. If he'd won one of those rounds, because they're having a different conversation now. So, like, it is just what it is. But listen, it was a great fight. We definitely want to see a rematch. I don't know if a rematch is going to happen, because, listen, Betelbiev is old. But then Uncle Turkey is throwing that money around. So, you get me? The money might just be too, might just be too good to turn down. And don't forget that Betelbiev is coming, is coming back from an injury. And from, like, basically over a year layoff. Um, so, w was that the best version of Battle we ever saw? I don't know. But I tell, you, I, tell you what, I tell you what I can say. I tell you what I can say. Someone was saying this in the group. They said, how is a 39-year-old man still looking fresh? Didn't even look like he was breathing in that fight. A man is still just throwing the soul punches in the 12th round. It's a tough question to answer, bro. I'm not going to lie. 
I'm uh, not gonna lie, it's a tough question to answer. Because man was looking like 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 superhuman in there. Like bro, like are you are you gonna breathe? Like are you getting tired? Like what like you know what I mean? Like if there if there, if there anything in there. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but you, 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 you look at better be body, bro. There is no no inch of fat in there. Even his back is like is 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 bone. Like you can just tell, man. Oh, this guy trains a lot. Yeah, I mean, a I, respect, I respect. See, you can train a lot. We all train. Well, you think Bivo doesn't train a lot? No, but but to be no, able, like, I think. Yeah. You, you, did you see the warm the warm up, right? You see, you saw the warm up, right? No, I, I didn't see the warm up, but I saw him sweating though. So you didn't see you, 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 you didn't see uh, warm up like I mean the warm up uh thing two days ago or something. Oh, three years ago, yeah. No, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. No, no, but no, then, no. Go watch that video. What he was doing with his wrist, bro. Oh, you, like, mean, the, you mean the push-ups, bro? You mean that, the push-ups. that guy was doing with it. That was like things he was doing with his wrist. Huh? I could, I tried to do it, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> Don't try to. <laughs> it's thirty nine. It's thirty nine. It's not of me, but like the guy was like, man, because. It, it, they asked him, "Why do you do?" He said, "Because he's been doing it for a long time." So I'm not saying better be is not a monster. He is, but in, in this fight, this today, tonight, this night, this night right here, I think before one. But it's okay. If there will be a rematch, then I think it, it will make it more, more exciting. And I believe that that George, that Scotty wants is the one. To do you do you being I completely think, honest with yourself? Being completely honest with yourself. How does Bivo win that rematch? Bro, by having, they have to have competent judges, bro, to score that fight. Compe no, 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 I'm just talking about the fight. Forget evil, the judges. Evil, I think okay. Bivo had more success when he, when he stayed in the center of the ring against Better BF. Yes, yeah. but that's when he was, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's when he was purring the jab, when he still had his legs about him, when he still had his, his gas tank. When he was purring the jab, uh, bro, he was looking like, I was like, raw. this is just like, I'm like, this could just be like a one-sided flipping match. So I did see people knocking them out, but I'm like, it was just double jabbing, triple jabbing, bringing the right hand over, hitting shots with the body. I was like, this is just like scintillating, taking me back to like Canelo vibes. I was like, yo, this is, this is mad. Do you know what I mean? But one thing we forget is that Canelo is slowing now. Canelo is starting to plant his foot more, right? So, obviously, the, the work rate was actually coming from Bevel, right? As opposed to from Canelo. But obviously, this was the opposite, right? Like, Batavia was, was doing work. So, like, Bevel couldn't take time off. Do you know what I mean? So, he was having to be on his bike for most of the fight. And then that took the fucking gas out of him. And then, and then he just, from, from round six, he just dropped off. But that's why I said, that's why I asked the question, how do you see him winning it again? Because I know Bivol's fit. Bivol's always fit. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, how does he win that fight differently? Like, because he has to, he, you have to move from Batavius. Even if Batavius drops in like fitness levels, the last thing that goes is power. So you have to move. Yeah. So, like, how does he win the second fight? Does Betabiev get to him earlier? Because you could see there was a lot of times that Betabiev had him in that fight. A lot of times. This was not like a one-off one. A lot of times when he's just, like, not throwing punches, high guard, leaning up against the ropes, just taking punches. Like, because he was hurt. He wasn't throwing anything back. Can he survive? Can he survive another fight for 12 rounds? It's tough, bro. Well, it's we'll tough. see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. But I believe before before won that fight, and the next one we'll see if he, if if he can win it, you know, again. Well, better be if no knows it. You know that you know. But we'll see, guys. Anyway, like the video, just subscribe. Uh, big ups to each and every one of you that supports the channel. God bless you all, and thank you, bro, for giving your take. Uh, we'll see. We'll talk more about it later. Yeah, man. Stay blessed, bro.